Hey guys, what's up? It's AJ here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an HTML5 client. So this is very simple, and here's how you get started. So you'll be at the RuneScape homepage, and right now you're just going to hit the Play HTML5. Then you want to scroll down and see where this says Play HTML5 Beta. Now you're going to want to pause the video here and let it load to the login screen where it pretty much says, you know, show this, show that, um, and login. So I'm going to pause the video there, and when you guys are ready, come back with me. Alright, here we are. Now, I know it's a little glitch with it right now in RuneScape 3 is that the music you cannot turn off. As see, I have it turned off here. Now, I turn off my external speaker so you won't be able to hear it, but just so you guys know, turn that off before you continue. Anyways, um, now that we're here, it's very simple. For the first time, you have to let it load to this entire page, but then you're going to go right to this upper right-hand corner, and also make sure you're using Chrome. That's uh, You have to have that to play HTML5 right now, so just gonna click this, hover over Tools slide to the left and click create application shortcuts now for me I'm just going to create the desktop one right now just for demonstration purpose and click create now as you guys can see this is wonderful it creates this huge huge display and it's full screen and it looks just like an application it doesn't even look like Google Chrome now I'm going to exit out of it right now and show you guys a little 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 trick and I'll be back to you in a second all right, here I am, guys, on my home screen page. And right now, as you guys can see, this icon is awful. So here's what you're gonna do. Now you're gonna go in the description, and you're just gonna quickly type in. Um, let's see what this is. I forgot myself. Convertico. So you're gonna go right there, and you're also gonna pick up Google Images and type in RuneScape icons. And you're gonna go to images. And the one that I chose that I wanted to be displayed is this third one in. It's actually quite interesting, and you can do this with the old school one too, and you can do it with your original client right now. So just go to view image, save as, save as, da 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 da. I already have it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yep, save that, uh, exit out that one. And once you have that saved, just go to browse. And you're gonna, I believe it's this one. So you're gonna go to that and just double click it, and you're gonna hit whatever. Um, you're gonna hit go, and it's gonna show up right here. Now I've already done this and what happens is you pretty much just download it to your downloads. Um, if you don't know how to get to your downloads, just, you know, I don't know, it depends on the computer, but once you have that done, you can exit out of that and go to right click, properties, change icon, browse, double click this one, and there you have it guys. Click OK and make sure you hit apply. Boom. So now you have this decent looking icon. Now I'll be back in just a second to show you my so far HTML5 settings to make it smooth and perfect. See you guys then. Hey, hey, hey guys, what's up? I'm back and I'm going to quickly show you like the overall settings that you're going to want to have and what each setting actually does at this point in the game. Alright, so first off we have roofs, so that's pretty obvious. Lighting detail, I'm going to leave that on low because it actually does absolutely nothing um, as far as my eyes. Um, the render distance. Now, don't worry about these low, medium, high. Don't actually do those. They do not work at all. They do work, but they're not accurate. Um, all right, draw distance. So as you see, low, it just cuts off the draw distance. Um, medium, a bit more. You know, medium, I guess, is for average level computer people. You know, but high is what I like to leave that. Highest is actually quite outrageous. How high it actually goes. Um, <clears throat> actually, no, I didn't mean to say that. It actually is only a slight bit higher than high, and it's not. It probably takes a more uh, computer memory and you know CPU than it should. So I'm gonna leave it off. Shadows. This is what shadows looks like, guys. It's so awesome. Just look at that. Like everything, it looks like it has depth to it. It's like seeing a 2D painting without a 2D painting with just like edges and like no like color to them. So just you know, I'm gonna turn it off right now and just like look. For example, look at this tree to the right right here. This um tree just it's gonna turn like boring and you know the, the contrast is what gets you by the eye and you know it's a much smoother game but that you know I don't know why but I keep on saying it but it's just a nice contrast and nice depth to it so anti aliasing I did research on this and all it is is smoothing out the edges so just pick like you know some sort of object like say this tree again it's gonna look sort of like it's been like mushed or something. You guys will see when I um actually do this. And I've done this back and forth. It gets like 
fuzzy, if you know what I mean, and it's not a great thing. I've tried going low and high, and it just doesn't work. So as of now, I'm going to go back and forth, FX on, just take a real quick peek at that, guys. It's like, if you look over here where I'm right-clicking, look at that, and you're going to see, you'll be able to see some other stuff that you'll not be able to see, like those blue, that blue or light to it, but it's not a good thing right now. Anyways, um, custom cursors, bloom, what this did yeah, it's not working for me anymore, but what it did was it pretty much made anything, everything extremely light and like bright to your eyes, and it was annoying. Um, another thing is that, well, I mean, that's all I have right now. The audio is awful. It's, I have to turn my speakers off every time or else I blow my ears out. It's annoying, and to me, it's irresponsible of Jagex, but, oh yeah, and then the water. The water is um also, it's it's not that big of a deal, honestly. Um. I, I like pretty much the difference between, let's see, where is it, um, water detail, high and low. If I put on low, it's just going to look darker and not like a full river. So as you guys can see there, it doesn't look like a full river. It kind of looks like, you know, a small stream. But I like to leave it on high because, you know, it's like the river. It's kind of like the Mississippi River. It's like the icon of RuneScape. It sort of divides the line of Edgeville and Rock. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will be talking about the new skill divination, guys. Let's get excited for that. And another new skill in a year. Um, I'm not sure if they've ever released two, six skills in a row. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave it off there. Um, if you like this video, leave a comment. Tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I love your feedback, guys. And for the, those of you guys who are subscribed to the channel, I just want you guys to know that um, people will be coming back. I am sorry to hear. For you to hear my voice only for the past week or so, but anyways guys, have a great day.